Good afternoon, everyone. This is Matt over at MilestoneCapitalGrowthPortfolio.com. Uh, we've got about four I want to take a look at here today, and one of them is going to be GC Penny. Nice move today. Uh, it, you know, after the break of the 200-day moving average, you can see how uh, how well it did. Nice little pop here. Uh, you had this double top here, and basically just a big consolidation box is, is all this was, um, but higher lows, as you can see, was starting to come up, and had a nice little break now after it was solid over the middle Bollinger Band here and it starts trucking to the upside. Potentially we can get up to the $11 area, uh, 10.70 in that area. The only thing we want to watch out for is our relative strength index is getting a little bit high. They needed this volume to do some uh, some exiting. Uh, as you can see, it's been moving up nicely here. So um, I would, if you're not in this, I would definitely wait for a pullback um, and try and catch it on top of this area at 820 uh, if you're trading it if you are uh, if you're long I think you're gonna be okay if you want to switch this over to a weekly take a look here you could see uh, you could see here on the weekly you're basically in a consolidation uh, consolidation box also let's get rid of this here we'll make this look a little bit uh, a little bit different here so we'll put this on the weekly and uh, you know so if you if you're invested in this long term let's bring this up to that one and we'll come up to this one right here. All right. So this is basically our, our trade zone right now um, on the weekly. So potentially we could get up here in the next few weeks, uh, about 1127 or even the 100-day moving average at uh, 1025 to see what happens. Uh, going back to uh, the monthly now. Um, the monthly is, is a little bit a little bit ugly. Uh, we'll pull us out a little bit. You can see here the bottom was in place again. Um, so they're definitely holding this as the bottom, but what you want to be careful of now is see how the middle Bollinger Band on the on the monthly is right here acting as resistant. That's why I'm going to say we're going to pull back unless we break it, okay? If we break it, then we're going to start heading north because that'll be the first time in quite some time that this broke uh, the middle Bollinger Band to go to the upside, uh, actually all the way back to 2012. Um, other than that, it's been under the middle Bollinger Band, so this could get aggressive to move to the upside. Um, but don't rush it yet. Wait for uh, you get you use all the time frames and make sure all your indicators are are, uh, are breaking the way they're supposed to be breaking. So keep an eye on this. Um, if it does break this, I would start going long. But it does have to get outside this box of uh, 1102 um, to be fully confirmed to uh, start rocking to the upside um, as a long and in, long term investment. Uh, but for now, it's definitely uh, has been a great trade. Uh, FSLR. I'm going to stick here with the monthly. And uh, you can see here the double bottom came into play, and I'll show you that uh, after. Um, but, but the middle Bollinger Band and the 50-day moving average also got in the way on this one for uh, for resistance. Um, and uh, things are, uh, you know, it, it's had a great move off of off of the 40. You know, you're up $14 already. And uh, once we get through all this, uh, the 50 and the the 50 and the uh, middle ball in Japan. It should do very well, uh, but for now we'll look at the daily, swing this back, and you can see 200-day moving average came into play as a resistance, and as I keep telling everybody, all gaps get filled, so this was expected. Here's your gap right here, um, and the gap was filled. Outstanding. Okay, so that that's absolutely perfect the way that worked out. Um, what do I see from here? I see down. Um, I definitely see down and a nice little healthy pullback will be fine. I don't think it's going to explode to the upside unless something changes at 17 million in volume. Did a nice job today uh, for volume and skyrocketed. It really needed it and uh, that that's uh, that is what it is. So we'll have to see what happens with that one. BBRY is another one here. We'll do real quick. Uh, BBRY. On the daily, this thing is just in a channel, but what I want you to, you know, it's holding this support here. I would watch for this 50-day to be broken. If this 50-day gets broken, then it's going to start heading to the upside. Uh, but for now, this thing really just doesn't do anything. It just, it's consolidating until uh, something else happens. We do have a gap up here uh, at 1441, and that will be gotten one day. That will be gotten one day, I promise. Uh, but I think it's going to pull back down, sit at the 200 again. It's slowly making higher lows. Um, you can switch it over to the weekly, and you can see that. Um, but it really doesn't do anything, uh, much of anything. Oops, let's see if I can zoom this in. Um, in any given week, you know. Uh, so we're back. This acted as resistance again. So we're back under on the weekly. Uh, the middle bull in Japan acted as resistance. And uh, you can see here on the monthly, you know, it is what it is. It's just it's just channeling across. But we're going to get some support. We should get some support. Um, another higher low. But I think we're going to. I think it's going to be more set like this here, so uh, that middle bull in Japan will hold something something to this effect here. Uh, you can see how they line up pretty nicely. Whoops, 
they line up pretty nicely. You get this candle here, this candle here, and then the 50-day. So if you're looking for a position, 911 probably would be a, a good area for that. Uh, one more depot. Depot looks good here. Just keeps trucking on the monthly. See how fantastic that is? All right, good job with depot. All right, let's pull this back to the daily. You can see how big it went. Uh, nice gap, nice cranking. Uh, she's really looking good here. Relative strength index is a little bit high, so if you're not in this one, I would be uh, I'd be sitting back here around 20 to get back into it. But uh, yeah, nice nice on this one. Great move, great trader today. All right, uh, eight of our 10 profile companies have uh, have have hit their targets it's been pretty amazing so um, you should check those out folks uh, PCTC was no PT PCTC no, what is it PT let's check it out P PT P, uh, one of them was that's not it uh, PC PCTC sorry Okay, so you can see here um, on the on the daily how, how this has moved. Uh, our alert was over here at 52, started profile on it. 75 is our target, closed 71.18. Um, so this was one of them that has just done fantastic and uh, has made some great money for us. The other ones are listed on the forum. Uh, or if you want to take a look at them, just send me an email. I'll be more than happy to shoot all the companies over to you and their profiles so you can check those out. All right, this is Matt of MilestoneCapitalGrowthPortfolio.com. Have yourself a fantastic night.